Hello friends, how are you? Hope you're doing well. And after a long time, we are back again talking to each other. Um, I want to talk about health. Yeah. Health is very important to all of us. Um, health uh, does not depend on gender, age. It does not depend on your qualifications. It does not depend on which part of the earth you live in. All right. So from the very first moment till your last moment, um, you, me, or anybody and everybody should be healthy. All right. So health is most important aspect in our life. And um, in our childhood, uh, parents do take care of us. Um, but as we grow, as we uh, age, we got to take care of ourselves. And um, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, input um, that needs to be uh, taken care as part of uh, uh, discipline, as part of uh, cautiousness, um, and um, uh, it's it's two parts. One is like within your body, the other part is outside your body. All right, so you can control very much what is within your body uh, in terms of what you eat what you drink, how you eat and drink, um, what time do you sleep, what time uh, do you wake up, what, uh, uh, how many hours do you sleep, what part of the day or night do you sleep. Yeah, so that is all within your control. What is beyond your control is um, so atmosphere, pollution, right? what people um, uh, do or don't do is beyond you. So what you can do is certainly that you should look at and um, um, yes, it, it cannot happen all of a sudden, um, but you can start um, the alertive way. Um, uh, immediately you, you get cautioned about like, like, like why it has occurred to me why all right um, what has happened is since childhood I've been very active in terms of uh, game outdoor games and meeting out with friends and cycling and running and all that thing though not with that kind of discipline but uh, as activism I was kind of quite a quite a uh, active kid in a way but as I as, uh, started growing aging college and then work and uh, marriage and life it then made me kind of inactive kind of stereotype like wake up in the morning get ready go to the office uh, come back home eat uh, read a little bit here and there and then uh, uh, spend some time with family and then go to the bed so the body which was in the most active mode became like the most inactive mode and on top of that eating habits, lifestyle. So what has happened is I gained weight. That's one. Second, uh, due to nature of work, uh, I would sleep very less, almost to a tune of five hours. Third, I did not hydrate well. Uh, and, and so stupid of me, so uh, idiotic of me, that I, I thought if I drink more water, I have to go to the loo uh, more often so I thought that will waste my time and uh, I, I lose on focus from my work so stupid of me right I would never exercise I would never even walk so what happened was due to work pressure due to uh, less sleep due to um, this food intake or uh, hydration I got caught up into blood pressure high blood pressure the peak when it went it was 180 and 120 and uh, the doctor just made me sit he says you you just keep your mobile or shut down your mobile which i did 
um, you're not thinking any damn thing you're just sitting here and just relaxing so then the blood pressure dead moment came down to about 160 and uh, 105 104 he sent somebody with me uh, to home from his clinic but with some serious instructions you're cutting down on your salt making absolute zero you're walking you're sweating and you're sleeping well you're hydrating yourself well this this had happened in uae in dubai but by then we were moving this side to australia so once i came here i um, kept that habit but as you would understand migrating to a new country without a job uh, changing your life from job mentality to uh, a business mentality or an entrepreneurial mentality so that had uh, that was asking for quite a, a bit of work uh, which again i did but following that discipline of what doctor had prescribed so started sleeping well started hydrating myself well so the pressures blood pressure remained at somewhere 130 35 to 100 which e which was high after two two and a half years here the doctor local doctor here he said you won't uh, um, uh, follow the discipline very strictly so i have to now uh, helplessly prescribe you a medicine so since last two two and a half years I've been taking uh, a medicine blood pre blood pressure medicine which is very light in terms of its power but uh, since last couple of months I have made up my mind um, I'll go off medication come what may and I'm, I'm seriously working on that so I have started reducing my weight I was 76 in last five months I've dropped down to 73 my target is to get a little below 70 um, doing regular exercises sleeping well hydrating myself uh, I've cut down on to um, sugar as well um, uh, very very medium dosage of salt in the food uh, drinking of uh, coconut water so the, the the story or to cut down the story is health is my focus second reason for me uh, two of my kids uh, they've developed dental issues they're just 17 and 13 and both of them had to go through one or two tooths for root canal I mean not accepted and that again was my oversight as the head of the family uh, we used to have uh, one section chocolates uh, filled uh, in the refrigerator and my younger one she uh, she would just sneak in uh, as, as a mouse uh, and, and just have a quick bite of a chocolate tooth uh, sweet tooth as they say so but it has dented her uh, uh, dental thing both both the kids which again is an eye-opener so from that moment onwards uh, no more chocolates in inside the house if they come they are dark chocolates third thing my better behalf she has uh, she is a little overweight so now constantly uh, I, mean, I do exercise I talk health I, I constantly very very um, obviously I make it uh, um, uh, uh, in my interaction that health is important so this is coming out from my practical real life experience that is where I'm making this small video for you guys that health is important and uh, as they say prevention is better than cure I am requesting you who is listening to this video out and loud from this moment onwards please start looking at your health correcting your health and proactively doing the the, the correct things for yourself for your life why uh, you say your lifespan is 70 years or 75 years so that 75 years you gotta live in that body so take care of that body please that if you take care of your body the body will take care of you otherwise You'll be running to a doctor, you will feel lethargic, you will feel like th things are not right. You will always look for things outside you, where the issue is inside you. So my humble request, humble request, please take care of your body.
and your body will take care of yourself. If you have any questions or any point to say or anything to ask or um, share or contribute in, in along with this video, feel free to put your comments. Uh, give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to this channel if you are here for the first time. And uh, we'll be sharing uh, on these subjects or on the books anything, everything to do with health. All right. So with this, I'm uh, finishing this video. Thanks for watching and we'll be in touch through the series of videos. Feel free to connect with me. Uh, post your comments. I'll be more than happy to, to catch up with you over the phone or in person or digitally. Right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.